With the help of Cheat Engine, I was able to create a custom mod for Dark Souls 3, which applies a permanent toxic effect on my character for the entire duration of the game. Toxic, in layman's terms, is basically just like poison, but on steroids. The effect makes us lose 22 health points per second, as well as significantly reduce the speed of our stamina regeneration. Now, that alone would not suffice as a difficult enough challenge, so we will also try not to use any of our Estus flasks throughout the run. Keyword here being try. With every class having around 400 health or so at the start, the beginning of this run is about to be hella toxic. The starting class for this challenge is obviously gonna be the Cleric, as he is the only class that starts with a healing miracle, which is definitely essential for us. My entire strategy for this run is gonna be centered around creating a faith build with as many passive and active healing spells as humanly possible. But before we can start doing any of that, Gundir has to be taken down first. Alright. Oh, thankful. We are immune while we actually activate Gundir, which is a good idea. And now we smack this guy twice and heal immediately because we are gonna die. Oh! We dodge that one like a champ. And we are dead. This is going to be a little bit of an issue. We haven't even started the run. And we have already problems. Past the gate, we are immune. Now we need to heal immediately. The heal is also not very strong, which is a problem. The goal for today is going to be to grab like... Yeah, this is no way without Tessus, I think. Gundir is truly the hardest boss in this run. He might as well be, yeah. Because... Okay, we hit him twice. And then I basically need to heal immediately again. Otherwise, I'm dead. And now I have no stamina because Dark Souls 3 doesn't give you... St doesn't let you not use stamina when you're... And we are dead, right? Yep. Oh, wait. How many heals can we even pull off before we die? Run started and failed, yeah. So, Gundir is 99% impossible to defeat with our current rule set. I say 99 because there might be some way to kill him which I missed, but someone smarter than me is gonna have to figure that one out. So, after a bit of brainstorming, Chet and I decided that we are gonna allow the use of Estus flasks up until and including the first Lord of Cinder, which for us means the Abyss Watchers. The moment we kill them, we are gonna have to ditch the Estus for good. We felt that stays true to the spirit of the challenge while still keeping it quite doable, as the beginning of Dark Souls 3 is very linear and doesn't allow for too much build tweaking to overcome this challenge, until we at least defeat the first Lord of Cinder. But do not fret, my friends. Having our Estus still isn't gonna make Gundir or the upcoming boss fights that much easier for us to fight. After restarting the run, and this time picking up the Divine Blessing as a starting gift, we go straight back into the fray. Toxic is just horrible. And you dex Gundir as well. The fact that I don't have a lot of stamina is actually kicking my ass. What is that hit? How is that a hit, Miyazaki? And mess up the parry and die again. I'm dead. Like, literally, this post serves no purpose because I'm dead on the next tick. <laughs> okay, that's the parry timing. Okay, I figured it out. Strafe is going to be the way we're doing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That's very nice. Guys, we are gonna do it. He gets so much damage resistance, it's stupid. I don't have the stamina, guys. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> One and a half goddamn hours to get outside of the tutorial area, guys. Oh my god, this is this is the end of the run for me, guys. This is the end of the run. For what all I care, I've already beaten the run. I don't even care anymore. With the fall of the Ashen Judge, we can now joyfully advance into Firelink Shrine. And from here, we can enter into the true hellscape called Lothric. Here, I can beautifully showcase why this challenge is gonna be extremely punishing. Basically, the instant we sustain any amount of damage from any enemy, we have basically signed the contract to our doom, as it's almost gonna be inevitable at that point. Toxic just kills you way too fast in this game. Usually, Dark Souls requires good stamina management when dealing with areas, enemies and bosses. But for us, health management is gonna be even more crucial than that. With that being said, the upcoming boss Vort still couldn't pose too much of a struggle for us. 
His health is just way too low, it would be difficult to find a challenge run where he would actually provide any significant threat. With his defeat, the world finally opens up to us a bit, and so we can start our build creation process. We first go and free Irina from her dark little cell, so she can go and set up base at Firelink. From her, we can now buy the most important miracle of the run, Replenishment. Replenishment is a heal over time buff, which is gonna help mitigate some of the damage we receive from being inflicted by Toxic. Our goal is going to be to stack as many of these buffs on our character as possible, so that hopefully we aren't gonna have to deal with the damage from Toxic at all. But that might be wishful thinking to be honest. In any case, the other important things we collected on our path are the Chlorian Tearing, which helps reduce some of the Toxic's stamina regeneration debuff, and the Broadsword, which is going to be our main weapon throughout the duration of the run. Its solid damage for minimal stat investment makes it a great pick for level 1 runs, and as we are gonna dump most of our points into Faith for better heals, it's gonna be nice to have a raw infused broadsword that can still be buffed and deals pure physical damage. With those things in hand, we go and strike down the Crystal Sage with ease, then move into the Cathedral and do pretty much the same thing to our boys, the Diesels of the Deep. After then collecting every single upgrade material that I could get my dirty little hands on, we are ready to face our second proper challenge of this run. Let's go! You little bastard, come back over here. Nope, nope. This fight is honestly very easy to defeat, just wait for the second one, but I don't have the time to wait. The more I wait, the more damage I take. Here is the other one. Take the aggression away. Nice. The more backstabs I do, the better, because I'm immune to damage while being in the post animations. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> what killed me? This would genuinely be impossible without the Estus Flasks. There is no way in the fight to get the amount of time you need to heal. No way. Stab in the face. Stamina is a problem. We do very good damage though. We, our damage is peak, guys. Oh, the pots! The goddamn pots, guys. Get back over here. Get back over here. Second phase, let's go. Great heal immediately. God damn it. Oh, great heal still works. Look at how slow it is. The phase transition occurred and I still was not able to heal fully, guys. Why are you a ballerina? Dark Souls is not supposed to have ballerinas on that. One thing I forgot to mention is that together with replenishment, we also have another heal over time buff in the form of our chime. The Cleric's Sacred Chime has the ability Gentle Prayer, which is basically replenishment, but a bit better. And of course, both of those effects do stack. I kinda completely forgot about it during the Gandir fight, but oh well. With all of these things active, it should be fine. Bam, bam. Very nice. Perfect. Perfect start. Backstab and it GG boys, well played. Bam, bam. Good fight. Oh, righty then. Now we arrive at the turning point of this challenge. As from now on, we say bye bye to our Estus and welcome to our true suffering. And what better way to illustrate our suffering than with a song while I try to collect another passive region buff in the form of the Oak Shield? Oh, Dark Souls 3, why make spells so bad to this degree? To heal myself with this shit makes it so that I will always get hit. Why does it eat all of our stamina and require 10 whole millennia? Thank you, Miyazaki. Alright, now we finally have some passive health regeneration. I actually think this setup is better. Because then we can have gentle prayer as well here, which is going to stack even more. But still this is going to be a uh, fuck fest, guys. Uh, where do we heal here? Where do we heal here? This run is going to be a basically a practice session of where to find the places to heal while not being ass blasted. And ass blasted coming. Yep. How did he see me? What? I'm not even gonna question it. Alright, checkpoint unlocked. I feel much better now. Ember. Ember, very useful. That's basically our only fast heal. And we'll take a track down into the smoldering lake here, boys. Smoldering Legs holds a couple of things that I need. Uh, but it was- Oh! What the fuck? 
Dodge the last one. And heal, please, please heal. Okay, getting through this area is a little bit toxic. L let's say getting through this area is a little bit toxic, guys. Uh, heal, collect the item, titanite shard. This place is like five or six large titanite shards, which is amazing. It's perfect for fighting Pontiff. Alright, Volnir time. Uh, let's reapply replenishment. Let's reapply gentle prayer. Let's pop our HP to the max. And let's beat up his goddamn ass. Bracelet attack. More bracelet attack. Heal. Shit, 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 shit. There we go, goodbye. Extremely easy if you kill the right hand. If you kill the right hand first, extremely easy. If you don't kill the right hand first, all hell can break loose. But thank god, he's gone. Oh. Okay, time to collect items because we need upgraded materials to fight Pontiff. Ah, uh, yeah, the ballerina city. <laughs> and we die because there is no way we are healing over here in this situation. And we dead. Dead by cancer. Yeah, I don't like these ballerinas, guys. These ballerinas are very, very annoying. Go, 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 go. There is no time to waste. There is literally no time to waste. This is a goddamn hell show of stamina and vigor, guys. Grab the bonfire, Charleston. Grab it. Light it and smoke it. I wish I could play, use my memory and play for the first time again. Exactly. That, that is the thing I wish for Subnautica and Dark Souls 1. I told my girlfriend if I ever get amnesia, the first thing you should do is make me play Dark Souls, read Berserk, play Subnautica and watch One Piece. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. Great heal. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Let's go. Now we gotta kill... Oh. Ah, the Beast of Darkness. Okay. This place is actually going to be a little bit problematic. First of all, it's very easy to get lost. Second of all, it's the Jailers. If the Jailers see me, they will destroy all of my health. Which means we don't won't have enough health to survive the Toxic. So this might be a very nasty combination. And there are the Jailers. I still to this day, I don't know... Ah, I need to go to that. Yeah. Instant death. <laughs> that was fast. What is this goddamn caca? Can I please get the hell out of here? Without rats nibbling at my ass. To the elevator. Bye bye. And the rat is on the fucking. Guys, do you know what I will become after I'm done with streaming? I will become a fucking. The, the insect killer. I forgot how you call that profession. Exterminator. I will become an exterminator. That is what I'm gonna become. I'm gonna exterminate rats, bees, pests, birds, everything that lives. Everything is gonna die. That's going to be my next profession after streaming, guys. Why are there so many jailers in this place? I actually forgot there are so many goddamn jailers in this forsaken place. And we are branded. Why am I... Wait, they, al they also slow down your rolling? Can't heal. That bites the dust. Yorm's always easy. Mm, I don't agree with that statement fully. Yorm isn't too difficult, though. Alright, now we have a little bit of problems here. Smack! Every time we smack him with the Storm Ruler, we are gonna have to retreat and heal. Yeah, this is actually making Yorm very difficult, guys, by the way. Yorm is finally a challenge! I'm dead. There's no way to slide this. Can I heal beneath his stubby legs, though? Yorm does not give me too many places to heal. He really does not. Prepare the Storm Ruler. Smack! It almost missed him. Jesus Christ, that was scary. Don't smack yet, smack now! No. I smacked at the wrong moment, god damn it. Okay, we hit him one more time and then the Ember, guys. That is the strat. Ember immediately. For safety. Can't see shit. Oh my god, we traded hits. I need to heal immediately. Heal immediately! Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Woo! We are alive. Let's go. We literally traded hits at the end. My hit was stronger, thankfully. Alright, one of the hardest boss fights in the game, and we are dying of cancer. Oh, I parried <laughs> I actually parried him, guys. This is not something that you're gonna see every day. <laughs> he missed. What an absolute bastard. Ah! This is gonna be an interesting fight, guys, we are dead. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, the pontiff is akin to the giant mosquito that keeps me up awake during hot summer's eves. God, I hate those things. Mind you, his first phase can be dealt with quite easily, but the combination of the clone in the second phase, plus all the damage we receive up until that point from Toxic, just makes it kinda undoable with our current strategy. So, 
I did what any good man would do in this situation. I started throwing shit at him. Hear me out here. If he managed to poison him during his second phase, we will be able to play passive while also at the same time do significant damage to both him and his goddamn clone. Unfortunately, Dunkpa is just aren't really well suited for that job. But thankfully, I know just the tool that is, the Storyteller Staff. Its poison from the weapon art procs a lot faster and deals quite a bit more damage on top of it as well. With just that little tweak to our strategy, the Ponte fiasco has already been reduced to a minimum, after like 10 attempts. Poison is just way too dank in this game if you ask me. And after one final bum rush straight into his face, we managed to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. It's really kind of ironic that poison of all things is the solution here. With Pontiff's defeat, I want to show you guys another interesting quirk of this particular challenge run. I suspect that everybody and their mother is familiar with boss runbacks at this point, and how annoying they are. Well my friends, this challenge takes them up to a whole nother level. Take the run back to our boy Aldrich for example. Usually you can just skip past most of the enemies guarding his boss arena. But because we require such a long setup before we can enter into the fight, there is a high likelihood that I will get destroyed before I manage to do any of that. I need to find a good hiding spot that avoids all the deacon's shots and allows me to properly cast all the buffs I need to go and fight the devourer of memes. You could technically defeat every single enemy that leads up to the boss door, but that would waste so many precious resources due to the toxic that I honestly didn't even want to consider it. Let's also not forget that boss fights only get progressively harder in this game. Hide behind the pillars is gonna be the strat here, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a nightmare because he has ranged attacks. Can I heal? Ah, oh, there's no way I'm dead. Aldrich! Fuck you! Where do we heal? Maybe do good damage. And now we need to heal. Like, we need to heal every phase transition. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how we're gonna do it. We heal every phase transition, and then we never get our stamina back, because stamina does not regenerate in this game. I need you to go away. No! What is that range? Eh, uh, this is actually not good. Yeah, this is not good. Not good at all. I don't think you're actually dead here, guys. Pretty sure you cannot outrun this fully. This is just pure death. This is just pure death. Guys, I can't see what's happening. Heal again! This is actually not a good idea. Healing here was not a good idea. Yep, that's why it's not a good idea. It's now or never, guys. It's now or never! GG! Heal immediately! Jesus Christ, okay. That was way too close. Non-attack miracles shouldn't cost that much stamina. Yeah, I agree. They cost way too much, guys. Alright, very close to the end, guys, and unfortunately... I mean, this is just... this is just... cruel. Aldrich, the devourer of my sanity, more like. With him down, we do receive one very important gift, though. Unfortunately, since this isn't Dark Souls 1, we do not receive the almighty chest. But we do receive her ring, which does provide us with a very nice health regeneration buff that we desperately need. Now, we are slowly nearing towards the end of our toxic journey. The only thing that's left, really, is to infiltrate Lofre Castle and strike down the two misfits at the top of it. But that also means we first gotta go through the Cancer of the Boreal Valley, as well as the Dragon Slayer armor. God save my soul. Yeah, damage is pretty good, like, Lightning Blade seems to be a quite good buff, guys. Like, it, do, it does do pretty good damage, I'm not gonna lie. Cancer is pretty rough, guys. It's nice doing damage, though. Gotta back up, gotta back up. Gotta back up, gotta... What?! Okay, Cancer of the Boreal Valley indeed, guys. We claim for the arm. A mistake. And big slap. 100% Cancer, she has millions of... Roll catch attacks. I need to run, 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 I need to run. Heal, 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 heal. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Thank the gods. What the hell do I even do in this situation? <laughs> what do I do in this situation? I need to heal! But when I heal, I have no stamina and I cannot retaliate! No, come on, Dancer! Oh my god. Smack in the booty. Booty smacks. She does enjoy the booty smacks. Let me heal! 
The arena is not big enough for the two of us. I don't have stamina. Bro, this is impossible. Okay, she's coming after my ass. I don't see shit. I forgot, I forgot. She has a spinneruni attack. Run to the other side of the arena again. I think she's dead, guys. I think she's dead. Oh my god. Just go away, please. Goodbye. Goodbye. This run is officially cancer. Here is a question for you guys. Uh, is there a game that you disallow yourself to play or like stop yourself from playing? Because if you start playing it, you will never stop playing. It. Is there a game for you like that? There is one game for me like that. It's called Civilization 5 and 6. If I ever start playing Civilization 6 again, I get literally addicted. I cannot leave the chair. Literally cannot leave the chair. You need to keep on playing. Can I please get through this goddamn hell with a single brain cell left? Black Firebomb. Uh, more deadly than STD bomb. That is to be debated. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Braille Divine Tome of Lothic. Oh, Irina. Braille Divine Tome of Lothic. Blessed weapon. Alright, basically what we have right now is a weapon buff that gives us the blessed weapon effect. It is actually kind of cool. Dragon Slayer Armor. Meet your maker. The Pantless Pope. Pretty good damage. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We can talk this through, my friend. We can talk this through. We can't. We, we, we definitely cannot talk this through. Oh, I'm alive. Somehow I'm alive. Yeah, our regeneration is now pretty good. We can just basically fight bosses. Range attack, range attack that goes through buildings. Ah, oh, brother, he's way too fast. He's faster than the goddamn... He's faster than the four winds, for fuck's sake. Leave the pantless Pope alone, and there is the spirit bomb. And there is the spirit bomb. Heal out of desperation and get it. Why is nobody easy in this run? I don't think I can heal in this fight. He's just running after my ass. He, he does not give me a break, guys. Okay. Oh, what? We can heal here. Wait. I knew it. I knew it that the hitbox is goddamn amazing. Yeah, he just runs after you. He's an absolute monster. Divine Blessing heals. Mm. No! <laughs> How do I kill this guy? Like, there is no place to heal in that fight. I just have to be absolutely perfect. Mm. He has a lot of openings at least. Oh, the laser attack. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bro, he's like a Michael Bay boss fight. Stamina is the main issue in this run, guys. There is no time to heal any to Ember. Stop this. <laughs> Die! GG. Let's go. Nice. Oh my god, you just needed to hit him. That was the solution, guys. With the Dragon Slayer's defeat, only two more bosses remain between us and our salvation from this toxic hell. But those last two are somehow always the biggest obstacle when it comes to this particular game. The two brothers are especially problematic. Even though big bro Lorian over here can't even walk, his teleporting goddamn makes up for that. And in case you forgot, Super aggressive bosses like these literally disallow us from using our heal miracle as it's almost a 100% guarantee that we will be interrupted. Thankfully, our health regeneration is pretty good at this point, so as long as we beat Lorian without him touching us, we can make it through the first phase while somehow holding on to dear life. Second phase though... yeah, we're gonna have to come up with something here. TLDR, second phase has way too much projectile spam on top of Lorian hunting our ass relentlessly. So, here is what you're gonna do. Speedrunners have basically solved this part of their fight by intentionally freezing their AI at the start of the second phase. And it's not even that hard to perform. All you gotta do is stand really close to the staircase before you send Lorian's health down to zero. After that, as long as you stay behind them, you are good to go. Now though, comes the tricky part. I think like here. Like over here in the carpet. 
Oh, we are literally hitting his butt, guys. We are slashing his asshole apart. This came out wrong. But it's literally the depiction of what we are currently doing, guys. With surgical precision, I can already feel the script writing itself, guys. God bless speedrunners. God bless speedrunners, guys. With the precision of a surgeon, boys. No, but seriously. The positioning for this is really tricky, because you have to only hit Lothric for this strategy to work. If you accidentally hit Lorian, well, prepare for a lot of suffering. In any case, we place the lords upon their respectful thrones, initiate the end of the world as we know it, and now only the soul of Cinderella stands between us and our victory. First phase is gonna suck, and then second phase we're gonna have some more luck, I think. That's pretty good damage. But at least I know a little bit of his moveset right now. What the? Did you see that, guys? Bro, he doesn't. <laughs> This is also the problem of Ember Restoration, guys. Did you see how long that takes? I, I, I can read the entirety of the Fellowship of the Ring before the Ember Garden pops. What? I pressed the dodge button there, Miyazaki. Ah, Golf Swing Death. SOC is just like, oh, I have a spear. Oh, I have a curse sword. Oh, I have fire great sword. Oh, I have magic. Oh, I'm Gwyn. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, I'm just playing around this point. Stamina, Toto, be careful about your stamina. Why are you not staggered? Oh, shit. We pop the ember here. Perfect sign. We basically try to stagger him, then pop the ember, not the spear face. Not the spear face. Don't kick him, you idiot. I hate kicking this game. Okay, dead. Now we heal, we need to recast all of our buffs, guys. This takes so long to cast! This is nerve-wracking! Okay, run away. <laughs> We're gonna use the same stat as before, guys. If you know how to dodge that, you're pretty fine. But this heal is so slow, guys. This is such a problem. Ah, no, what the- I strafed! That was insane. Didn't even know that could be done. Brother, I need you to go away. He's not letting me heal, guys. Heal, heal. There is no, there is no time. I need to heal right now or never. Yep, right now or never. Oh! Gentle prayer. He's giving me the time. Why did I trade there? Toto, you idiot! Yes! We dodged the last swing. Oh my god! Because of the broadswords ducking a little bit, we dodged the last swing. Dark Souls 3. Permanently toxic. Done.